Former President Jimmy Carter was not only a leader of this country, but a great humanitarian as well. In 1982, alongside his wife Rosalind, he established the nonprofit Carter Center in Atlanta, Georgia. In 1994, he negotiated with North Korea to end their nuclear weapons program, worked in Haiti to ensure a peaceful transfer of government, and brokered a temporary ceasefire between Bosnian Serbs and Muslims. And in 2002, the 39th president was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize. Mr. Carter dedicated his life after his presidency to charity work, including Habitat for Humanity. Cody Dennis has a look at the former president's positive impact on that organization. Since 1984, former President Jimmy Carter worked with Habitat for Humanity to build houses for those who needed them most. He not only wanted to be a part of these events, but in Eagle Butte, he advocated for the houses to be built on native land. According to a spokesman for Habitat for Humanity International, Carter believed that seeing a public figure helped inspire others. And that building every single year um, inspired so many people to get involved in Habitat. Wherever you would go in the world, uh, that would raise up new volunteer leaders and board members and donors. And so really the, you know, directly the Carter projects every year have helped over 4,000 people uh, purchase homes, but indirectly it's, it's led to millions of people being able to have new or improved housing. Throughout the years, Carter was quoted as saying working with Habitat brought him personal fulfillment and a way to channel his Christian faith. And that sense that um, kept pulling him back is that on the build site, it doesn't matter your race, your religion, your ethnicity, your economic status, everyone's the same. And you have that feeling of, of true community that is too rare in our world. And so he always would say that he got more out of his volunteer time than anything he was able to give. Uh, we certainly saw him give an awful lot. Rexford says Carter's work ethic was unmatched. He remembers a time when the former president was injured on a build site. Carter's message, get back to work. Rickford says Carter's impact on the organization is immeasurable and his legacy will be remembered for a long time. Reporting for Coda Territory News, I'm Cody Dennis.